What is a bridge? An engineering feat, the manifestation of the mind's conception. What is a bridge? Humanity's longing to be connected to one another. Great structures, but greater still in their purpose. I have known great bridges of the world. Bridges make our journeys through life possible. They appear in many ways. Sometimes they are great structures, carrying us to strange and wonderful places. Sometimes they are great changes, events that alter our directions. Sometimes they are people who touch our lives. And sometimes they are even a still, small voice that beckons us. Abandon your fear. Don't look down. Dare to come across. This work is about those bridges. From Duncan, my darling. I had found Duncan, or rather he found me, in the spring when everything was fresh and new and full of promise. Only six years later, I was to lose him in the winter just before Christmas. From the fat man in the red polka dot bathing suit. I was 16, too young to die, most people would say. I had everything in the world to look forward to. I was just beginning to show creative promise. The baby was awake, though very quiet, and I caught a glimpse of his pasty gray complexion, so unnatural looking for an infant. His little face was thin and drawn, his corn silk brown hair scattered in little patches on his head. His sparkling eyes were the only light on his little face. He seemed to me like one of those keen paintings of the sad children with the large cat-like eyes. From Baba. In her simple, crude, and direct English, she took us back to that awful day in her little village as her uncle waited beside the hand-drawn cart with her first pair of shoes strewn over his shoulder while she said her final farewell to her dying mother. It was Volksplatz, the people's place, where I first saw him. It was just a passing glance of a jolly-looking man dressed in a lightweight summer shirt. When I zoomed in, I noticed that his shirt had a reindeer pattern on it. My mysterious stranger. We weren't just a famous writer and an ambitious reporter. We were two human beings two hungry souls needing one another in order to understand the mysteries of life. From the Christmas Ring. Oh, how I loved that old house. It seemed to wrap around me. It offered me comfort, excitement, adventure, education, solace. It never occurred to me that it was a borderline slum house, a place to be ashamed of, a last refuge for the desperate. To me, back then, it was paradise. Being with my grandmother at that time and in that place was heaven to me. from Ask Not For Whom The Bell Tolls. The chapel was full of people on this Saturday morning, a time in modern America that most people sleep in to rest from the week or race around maniacally to get errands done. But this man's passing made so very many stop for two hours to think, hungry to think about life, what it means, and why we live it. Using the bridge as a metaphor for the change she experienced, my mother brings readers on a ride through her life, documenting the good and the bad, the mysterious and surreal, and the magic moments that make life worth living. If you often stop and consider the world around you, cherish the people you love, and relish the seasons of change, you'll love My Blessed Bridges. Available now in bookstores through Tate Publishing, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, 
and also on Kindle.